Okay guys, it is March the 1st. We're just about 10 minutes till 9 tonight. Alright guys, we now have a bumper jack in our possession. My mother actually got me this bumper jack for Christmas last year. So we've had it for a couple months now. Now we can position those brackets that need to be welded on the trunk pan. Get them in the right location and weld them in. And this jack here is just for, um, I think just for looks. It, it pretty much says on there that it's not really meant to jack the car. It did come with all the pieces, all the hardware's there. It could probably actually be used to jack the car in the spot, but I'm kind of hoping that's one of the things I never have to do. But anyway, it'll serve the purpose for making the trunk area look complete. And we'll go ahead and uh, finalize these positions of these brackets and get them welded in. I finally got the location of the jack brackets marked here on the trunk. I haven't got them welded in yet but I do have them located and I've uh, put some reference marks and some weld through primer down. That other one is pretty close to the package tray there. I looked at some references from some other projects and that's about the right place for it. It gets real close to the uh, gas canister there. I went ahead and just kind of set the package tray in place along with the uh, vapor canister just to make sure that I was going to be clear of that jack bracket. And I believe we're okay. I did go ahead and uh, move this bracket up just a little bit from the original location. This here was my original mark from the measurement that I took off the original trunk pan. And I got a feeling that this uh, reproduction jack is just a little bit shorter than the original. So with that being the case, I opted to fit it to this jack. So the next step will be just uh, prepping the pan for welding and we'll plug weld these brackets in and that part of the project will be done. So that's what we're working on and when I make a little bit more progress I'll bring you guys back. And we're working on getting these trunk uh, brackets welded for the bumper jack. Went ahead and welded that one up there already. I haven't done any of the grinding yet, but wind up having to use a sheet metal screw right here. And then I was able to clamp this side through here. I we'll have some touch up to do underneath where we burnt the epoxy. I've got this one all clamped. Getting ready to weld that first hole there. I believe I've got it tight enough to weld. So we're going to go ahead and weld it. I think the heat setting is uh, about right because I am coming through on the bottom. Not too bad, but I am coming through. so. I'm getting good penetration.
jack brackets welded in place. That last one I did was right on. I wish I'd have had the heat up just a little bit more, especially on this back one here. Let's go underneath. Right there is when we come through on that back one, and then there's the two front ones. So we definitely got penetration. Like I said, I wish this one would have been just a little bit hotter, but I believe I believe it's on there. I believe it's on there for no more than what it is. I gotta clean all this up now and sand it and put some more epoxy on it. So we gotta do some grinding and dress everything, and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, I've got the uh, welds cleaned up. I really wish this one here would have been a little hotter, but it came through on the back side and I, I believe I've got good penetration. I've, I've pulled and pulled on this thing, so I'm always worried about that. I probably weld a little hotter than I should, but I always want to make sure I get good penetration. There's the top bracket. Turned out okay. Okay, you guys can probably hear the wind hitting the front of the garage door and the rain outside. We've got a pretty good storm coming through right now. But there is the uh, bumper jack sitting in place. A lot of work for just a couple little brackets. But anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Just wanted to come out here and see if we can make a little progress. We'll cut the video off at that. So, didn't really make a whole lot of progress on this uh, segment, but we did make some. I want to thank all my subscribers, and thank everybody following the channel, and, and I do appreciate all the comments. Comment, let me know what you think, and we'll catch you on the next one.